डिमिट्री जो रिस्पी के अंदर ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ ऑस्टिमोलाइटिस ऑफ लॉन्ग बोन यूजिंग एलिजरा ऑफ टेक्निक Dear colleagues, a, lo a lot of patients with pseudoarthrosis and defects and defects of tibia and femur complicated with osteomyelitis has been treated in, in Elizarov Center. Positive result in 98.1 persons. In most cases, the processes of pseudoarthrosis formation under poor length infection in accompanied by bone loss at the ends of fragments and by anatomical limb shortening of one degree on the. As a matter of fact, uh, we deal with uh, an acute bone defect south in the colored pseudoarthrosis by us. Defects classification, uh, defects pseudoarthrosis, defect diastasis. Each classification should uh, reflect the main things of disease and uh, contribute uh, to a uh, physical in selection of the optimal tactics and technologies of restorative treatment in every specific clinical case. The main task of restorative treatment of patients with pseudoarthrosis and defects complicated by stimulators are Stability elimination of the focus of chronic osporulant infection. Maximal anatomical and functional restoration as possible. Problem change slide. Need it. Thank you. Thank you. The system uh, of uh, reconstructive and uh, restorative treatment, uh, treatment of the patient with long bone defects by Lizarov is based on the following principles to rehabilitation approach. Fragment lengthening, healing in the docking site, tibial fibrils, synostosis, and gradual tension of interfragmental tissues with a regenerate formation. Uh, classification of osteomyelitis basic technologies according to Lizarov is uh, represented on the slide. Uh, the scheme of uh, monofocal transosseous osteosynthesis. Patients diagnosis with pseudoarthrosis of femur intermediary locking nail osteomyelitis 5 cm shortening fistulography. Sequester necrectomy, uh, fragments adaptation, fixation using the Elizarov apparatus. Short term follow up, fistula closed, integrity of the bone was restored. The scheme of the bifocal transosseous osteosynthesis. Patient diagnosis with tibial pseudoarthrosis, osteomyelitis. Sequestral necrectomy of tibial fragments, fixation uh, using the lizard. Defect was substituted with lengthening of the proximal fragment of tibia. So term follow-up, no fistula integrity of the bone was restored. The schemas of the polyfocal transosseous osteosynthesis. Patients diagnosed with pseudoarthrosis of the femur intermediary nail osteomyelitis. 40 cm, 15 cm uh, of shortening. True defect is 20 cm. Fistulography. Uh, uh, surgery with fragments of uh, sequestral necrectomy and fixation of femur of tibia using Elizarov apparatus. The scheme of uh, femoral tibial synostosis, lengthening of the femoral and tibial fragments. 
Anatomical shortening was particularly uh, reducted. Short-term follow-up, no fistula uh, limb integrity was restored. The scheme of tibial uh, re uh, reconstruction uh, using fibula. Patient's diagnosis with pseudoratosis of tibia ostimulitus, fistulography. Sequestral necrectomia of tibial fragments and fixation of tibia using Elizarov apparatus. Reconstruction of uh, tibia using fibula. One and uh, half years follow up, no fistula bone integrity was restored. Fibula is hypertrophied. Conclusion. Elizarov method is highly effective in treatment of patients with pseudoarthrosis and defects of tibia and femur complicated with ostimilitus. Thank you for your attention. Any question? So my question is that how you transfer the fibula? Do you cut the both the ends together, then transfer? And that uh, uh, acute acute docking. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, there is a fibula trans. Yeah, fibula transfer. How we do acute docking or gradually? So uh, the solution is a step by step uh, transposition of fibula into the uh, into the side of uh, tibia. Это принципиальное отличие от операции модификации гана, когда это производится одномоментно. So it's a, the principal uh, difference uh, between our procedure and gun surgery. В чем преимущество? Mm -hmm. Преимущество uh, в снижении рисков ангиотрофических расстройств при дезерном перемещении. So uh, our advantages of our procedure is the very low risk of uh, problems with blood supply to the regenerate to callus. So it's quite actual, especially actual where you have problems with soft tissue. So my question is that you take the fibula acute docking or you take no, it gradually? Step by step by distraction osteogenesis, trans, uh, transforming it, getting it to the side of fibula, to the gap. At the rate of one millimeter per day? Yeah, the same. Second question. When the fibula reaches there, how you fix the fibula to the tibia with some screw, something? So we use only external frame for uh, the pr uh, primary fusion, and then a good arthrosis are quite satisfied for the patient. Okay, thank you very much. Now I request to Dr. Zirgi.